Hi, St. Monica families. This recording is serving as my weekly state of the school. Earlier today, you should have received the weekly reminder. There's quite a few important details about um, events in regards to Catholic Schools Week next week, along with many other items. So please be sure to take a good look at that. Just a few highlights. Um, starting on Sunday, we will begin our celebration in Catholic Schools Week. There's a home and school meeting on Tuesday. Um, we will also have our Catholic Schools Week liturgy be virtual um, with Dominican and the other North Shore schools with Archbishop presiding on Tuesday of next week. And we will also do our weekly liturgy on Wednesday. Script orders are due on Sunday the 7th. We have a virtual release days on Wednesdays. And then um, Friday, February 12th, there is no school staff that will be in in-service. There's a beautiful layout um, created by our Catholic Schools Committee, uh, Catholic Schools Committee um, with all of our wonderful events and special dress days. So take a peek at that. Um, our North Shore Catholic Schools Week Mass will be happening on Tuesday and we are collecting items for the Women's Care Center. And there's a list of different types of items that they're looking for as well. In my note, the following announcements, um, there's an announcement just about um, St. Monica's travel plans. St. Monica's is not providing a recommendation on behalf of the school for testing or quarantine requirements upon a return from a trip. So if you are going on a trip, we just, um, our best advice is to contact your physician um, or visit the CDC uh, website for further instruction there. Also, enrollment, um, if you have not re-enrolled for next year, please consider doing so. Over 90% of our current families have re-enrolled and we're just so excited. We're excited that we are halfway through what has been um, a challenging year, but also a very fruitful year. And we're really looking forward to what next year is going to be. Um, and we look forward to having you back. And if you know anybody who wants to join our family, please encourage them to apply as well. Um, I also just want to clarify that the COVID-19 uh, notification that went out this past Friday, the 22nd, was not to imply that a family knowingly sent their child to school with COVID-19. That was not the case. Um, so please just know that I know that our families deeply care about our school community, and I hope that we all are just continuing to keep all of us in our daily prayers. Um, and especially people that are being impacted by COVID-19, whether it's a family member or immediately within their family. So again, that was not what the letter was communicating. Um, if you have any further questions, please contact me directly. Please consider um, contributing to the Sunshine Squad and then conferences. There's some updates on what conferences will look like um, and conference on them should be coming out shortly. Do, do, do. There's a great um, just handout about um, digital literacy. So just being sure that we know how our kids are interacting on the internet in a safe manner. There's a notification from home and school. Um, we are continuing to need some lunchroom support. I'm down there every Friday um, in the afternoons with grades one through five and just have really enjoyed the time. I think the kids are doing a decent job with spacing. Um, they understand their roof the requirements and they just enjoy the change of scenery. So if you are able to contribute your time, we would deeply appreciate it. Continue to send in those box tops. And um, there's a couple other advertisements in as well. So that's really it for me. I hope that you have had a wonderful day. I thank you for your patience and for all of your warmth and understanding this year. And we look forward to a great um, midwinter to spring a continuation of our school year that we hope to be uneventful so that all of us can just continue to learn um, best that we can. So I hope you're well and I will talk to you soon.